look. Hi, this is part two. So if you missed part one, go back and catch it. These are the towels we're using. Uh, these are the ones that were actually recommended above all others. They tried interfacing, they tried um, cotton fabrics, they tried vacuum cleaner bags, um, they tried just all kinds of stuff. You'll cut it in half, okay? So I have a rotary cutter and generally I pile these up and just cut a bunch at once. So there, and then you're gonna put a double layer in your mask when you're finished. So this is from a lady that did masks um, online, and this is just gonna be my take on a variation of that, which I think is what we're all doing now. But you're gonna cut your eight by 10, do two layers right sides together, hence two layers right side together. You're gonna sew, take a break, sew. Be sure you back stitch. You're going to take, and because it was two layers, you're gonna open it up, do your finger pressing, okay? And yeah, if it's easier for you, please measure in because this is an eight by 10, measure in four inches and mark. Yeah, I've got a measuring tape here on the front of my table, just makes it easier. So you'll do this, finger press, flip it over, fold this side, finger press. Now you have an opening and it's gonna be blind right there so that you don't have to worry about any fray edges. Remember on the one I just did, it's got raw edges. Let me pull this out of the way. It's got raw edges right here. So, but this one was all one long continuous piece. So if you missed this, it was video number one. Now we're on video number two. So this one will be lined and it's got that extra layer of fabric. Then you're gonna come through, pop your third piece. So you'll need three eight by tens for this. And you're going to just stitch along this long edge, okay? Then when you're finished and you open that, it's gonna be like that, okay? You all know how to do a stitch right there. So we'll do that. So there's my stitching line. I'm gonna open, remember this is where the slit is, so these two go over. Now the next part is to flip to the wrong side and sew in that pipe cleaner that's been folded in half. Now go back to video one, I run through how to do this but you're just going to do it right on that seam. So fold open, stitch that in. Next step, put right sides together. Sew all the way around, okay? Don't sew this edge, but sew all the way around. If some of your edges don't line up, go back and trim them, it's fine. You'll end up with this. See, I've sewn all the way around that, but didn't touch the top. Then you're gonna turn this right side out. And again, if you're doing a bunch of these, this is where your husband or other family members can help out. And on this one, we're not using elastic. We've tried putting some elastic through there and just couldn't get it gathered around the face properly. Now a lot of people will clip their corners. I don't clip the corners on this because if you watch the lady's original video, she folds those corners under when she goes up the sides anyway. So I'm like, eh, not gonna do it. All right, and this is where my pipe cleaner was. Now on this mask, we're gonna sew this over Eh, about that much. 
<laughs> what is that? That is maybe three quarters of an inch. You're going to want to sew it over enough that, and I'm just going to do some finger pressing around the outside real quick just to open this up. Yeah, that'll stay. And, um, but anyway, you want that edge folded over enough that you can slide something in there to tie with. Now, she used the lady that did this, and I, I think I posted her link too. I don't remember. Um, she laid down clothesline cord and just stitched it in place. To me, clothesline cord was going to be a little bulky, but my husband does like this mask better in that it ties around his head. I don't feel secure with one tied around my head, so I use the other kind for myself. Okay, so that's instead of running to the ironing board. Now we're gonna fold under, and let's see. I'm gonna go about there. And again, it's not rocket science, y'all. Just make sure that when you're folding under, that your slit is on this side. Okay, you're folding towards your slit. Don't be folding towards your nice side. All right, I'm gonna put this through a little bit and then I'll back stitch. I just gotta get that up under there. Use a straight pin or whatever you need to to get that up under there. You can do it. Take your time. You're not in a race. Make sure, make sure you get to that end. Do not sew that shut. You won't be able to get your string in. Okay. Going up next to that pipe cleaner. And I use a pipe cleaner instead of a wire. I gotta fold that in. Um, pipe cleaner instead of a wire just because it's softer on your nose. And so far, pipe cleaners are still available. I got mine online from Amazon, and it was two-day shipping, I think, and it was here. I got like two bags of them. Um, it's these. Just, ah. There we go. Thanks, Daryl. Okay. So, you're going to come down the other side. Now, I'm going to back stitch. That's why I say sewing around these and back stitching. Is so important because you don't want this coming unsewn while it's on your head. That would just be some bad news. Now, I backstitched a little there, but remember, I didn't go across this area, across here, because that would have sewn the hole closed. You don't want that closed. I'm going to go ahead and clip this off the end. Clip from the right side, and then I pull, and that little tail comes through to the wrong side. Don't sew this shut. Just saying. All right. And you see how fast and easy this one is. And again, the biggest time cruncher is getting that pipe cleaner in there. But I just feel like that's important. Okay, and then for this one, um, here's one that's already finished. This was my experiment last night. 
Then you take, okay, that's the same as this. Here's my opening. You take and run, and I've already put the filter in there because this is Daryl's. Um, I did 54 inch shoelace, put a pin in here. Um, actually, I'm gonna have to reach. This isn't gonna be pretty. <laughs> All right, so you put your pin and then you find your hole and feed it through, okay? You're just gonna feed that all the way through, okay? And when you finish, it's gonna look like this. Start feeding at the top where the wire is. That way your loose ends are up here. And then, Daryl, I'll take that camera. Y'all don't get dizzy. I'm fixing to spin you around here. There you go. No, nope, no. Nope. Remember, this goes over the back. And you have to make sure, look here, the slit is on his stomach. Okay, the slit needs to be on your chest. That way, when you pull it up, We need to, yeah, and he's going to just start pulling. Do you see how this is all tightening up right here? And he's just going to tie that. That's good. He's going to tie that behind his head. And we'll have a ta-da ta -da moment when it's all up there and good. In a minute. We're not necessarily proficient at tying things in the back of our heads yet. <laughs> but you can see he's got the wire here. Move your glasses just a little bit, babe. So I know that was <laughs> pulling all over your eyeballs. Okay, but you can take that wire then and it's nice and snug here. That's a snug fit. This is snug all the way around here. Yeah, see with this one, he's got a really good snug fit. Now, I will tell you that right now at Joann's, they have ribbon, Grogre ribbon on sale. Uh, the one that's got the little ridges in it. And we are actually waiting to hear that our order is ready for pickup so that we can just drive by, they can throw it in the trunk, and we can leave. But um, that's what I'm hoping to use. Shoelaces cost a bit more. The ribbon's like a buck and a half, buck seventy something. I don't remember but it's for the spool. So I've ordered like five or six different colors. All right, that's it. That's all I've got for you. So again, the towels that they are suggesting to use for here in the South is the Zep, which is Home Depot's brand. Up North, there's another brand for y'all. We don't carry it down here. But um, again, I posted the link to where this lady does these and it tells towels for there too. So no, not the carbon filters, not vacuum cleaner bags, not interfacing, not just any blue towel, but two layers of this particular towel. And I'm sure anything else will, will help distance you from the virus. Just know that this is what was proven to have the best effect for this week. Who knows what next week holds? You know, everything changes almost hourly around here. But I hope you've enjoyed this. We've enjoyed bringing this to you. Thank you, Daryl, for filming and being my guinea pig and such. Um, Y'all take care, and we will see you later. Bye.